Benjamin and Jay have identified Graham's two most excessive areas of spending. They've come to Manchester to give it to him straight. I think this is going to be an absolute <laughs> winner. Graham's got no idea what he's doing. Nothing getting like getting the point across. Graham? He's run away. Oh, Graham! Hiya, Graham. Hello, Hello Graham. <laughs> How are you I'm guys? Benjamin. Hello, Hello. I'm Jay. Nice to meet you. Nice Jay. Now. Now, come with me. I've got a bit of a surprise for you. OK. Because I gather you've got um, one or two debts. Uh, one or two. Yeah. A couple of things have really stood out. One of them is about to come round the corner right yes. now. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know what that is? Public transport. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big red bus. And there's his friend. Another big one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is quite shocking when you see it like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say to that. I, uh... <laughs> Taxi for Graham. <laughs> Coming. Uh... <laughs> Count them. I'm going to tell you that we have for you today 18 taxis. <laughs> Because on average, you spend £18 every single day oh, no. on taxis. What you have to realise is that that comes to £6,570 a year. Now it's hitting home. Is this something you'd like to change to try to help your debts? Definitely. Well, when you tell me it's that much money, then, yeah. All right, too. That worked. <laughs> OK, now, can you do me a favour? Can you find us a tax? Because yeah, we need to show you some more stuff. We might as well take the one at the back. It'll save me 20p. OK, well, the, the... now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> do you ever get on a bus or use a train or anything? Is it always a taxi? Once in a blue moon. Right. But when I want to be somewhere, I want to be somewhere, and you just don't get that right. with going on a bus. But the shock's not over yet. Jay and Benjamin have got another trick up their sleeve. So close your eyes. Uh, keep your eyes shut, Graham. Keep your eyes shut. Now, Graham. Yes. You may open your eyes. And I want your eyes <laughs> to scan this bar, <laughs> OK? Now, all these drinks on this bar are your favourite shots. And what this represents, this absolute mass of alcohol here, is the drinks that you have bought for yourself and your friends over the past year, OK? Because at the moment, you're clocking up £102 a week on alcohol for you and your mates, being Mr Party that you are. And that adds up to £5,304 every single year. So I think you better have one of these to steady your nerves. <laughs> Down there, that's Graham. Yeah, this will be the last one for last a while. One, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that really is drinkable. <laughs> I mean, you are Mr. Party of Manchester, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. No wonder everybody wants to come out for a drink with you. <laughs> now you understand. Now I understand what. Exactly. <laughs> when you see that it's that much money laid out like this over a whole year. Can you see that actually parting perhaps is something that you have to kind of earn before yes. you go and do it? Because otherwise, you just end up in debt. And probably to tell you the truth about this much is probably what I spent on myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Graham's bit. <laughs> and that's then... Graham's friend's bit. <laughs> this is Graham's friend's bit. <laughs> exactly. Well, there wow. you go. So it's something to think about, isn't it? Oh, I'm thinking about it, yes. <laughs> yeah. If Graham's going to get his bar tab down, he'll need a little perspective. Radical measures are called for.